All right, questions 20 to 23. And we've got ABC, three names written. And there are four questions. Got it? Okay, now listen. In this case, questions and the passage, they are not in order. But ABC, these names are always in order. You already underlined Bill Gates there. Okay, now please underline Nilo Christianini. Nilo Christianini. Nilo. 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 Yeah. Nilo Pilo Do Penasan. Okay. All right. And underline Ron Chrysler. Okay. Ron Chrysler is in paragraph E. Okay. Now, listen. Just do one thing. Wherever the names are written there, you should also write A, B, C. Where Bill Gates is written, write A. Where Nilo Christianini is written, write B. And where Ron is written, just write C over there. Clear? And you will also see there are four questions. That means one name will be used twice. Okay. Now, please come to paragraph C, where we have first Bill Gates. Got it? Now, I'm just going to read his statement. He says, more importantly, it demonstrates how robotic science and artificial intelligence have progressed in the past few years, a point stressed by Bill Gates, Microsoft, and then he said, robotics industry is developing in much the same way the computer business did 30 years ago, right? And I can envision a future in which robotic devices will become a nearly ubiquitous part of our day-to-day -day lives. Got it? Then he says, uh, just read inverted commas. We may be on the verge of a new era when the PC will get up, uh, get up off the desk and allow us to see, hear, touch and manipulate objects in places where we are not physically present. This thing and please come to paragraph uh, D as well. Again, we've got paragraph D first line. The fact is we still have a way to go. Got it? The fact is we still have a way to go before real robots catch up with their science fiction counterparts. Now please come to questions 20 to 23. Question number 20. Important concern for scientists is to ensure that robots do not seem frightening. Underline robots do not seem frightening. Ke robots se darna lage. Another robot aay sare chikhe marte ve bai nikal jai. Right? So just underline that. Question number 21. We have stopped trying to enable robots to perceive objects as humans do. We have stopped trying to enable robots to perceive objects as humans do. No? Okay. 22. It will take considerable time for modern robots to match the ones we have created in films and books. Science fiction. That is films and books. So for question number 22, answer is... A and cross 22 also. Now we will not come back to it. Otherwise, we'll waste our time reading it and then realizing it's got to pali likha. Question number 23. We need to enable robots to move freely before we think about trying to communicate with them. All right. Now we are left with three questions. And next is Nilo Christianini. Uh, the next paragraph. Okay. Let's read about him. Uh, his statement comes before. So I'm reading paragraph E and I'm reading it from third line, last word, so. Found it? Yes. Okay. So scientists have turned to simpler alternative. Now, we have, I told you before, inverted commas are important. We have become far more pragmatic in our work, says Nilo, professor of artificial intelligence at the University of Bristol, England. Right, he says, we are no longer trying to recreate human functions. Wow, there is one option. We are no longer trying to create human functions. Which one is it? 21. 21. We have stopped trying to enable robots to perceive objects as human do. Okay, so he says, we are no longer trying to recreate human functions. Instead, we are looking for simpler solution. So for question number 21, answer is B. And we cross 21 also. Clear? All right. Now, let's go on. Same paragraph and we have the third one, Ron. 
Okay, the last line. Okay. Now, let's read about Ron, please. Uh, Christianity, and it's done. Okay. Ron is here. I'm reading about Ron. For that, please come to third last line. Technology like this is now changing the face of robotics, says philosopher Ron Chrysler. Technology like this is now changing the face of robotics. Okay, uh, let's go on. All right, can you see? I mean, there is no statement of Ron here. And come to last paragraph. See that? So name is mentioned, but statement is not given. So that part is not the part where you will find the answer. Everyone got it? Name diya hua Inverted commas may statement nahi diya hua. So in that case, you'll have to go on. Now, please come to paragraph F. And I'm reading it from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th last line. Because inverted commas start from there. S robots first learn. Everyone found it? Yeah? Okay, let's read it. Robots first learn basic competence, how to move around a house without bumping into things. Then we can think about teaching them how to interact with human. How to interact with human means communicate. First, we need to teach them how to move. Which option? 23. 23. Well done. We need to enable robots to move freely. What is for move freely? How to move around a house without bumping into things. Without bumping into things means freely. Right? And then they say, uh, then we think about trying to communicate with them. And what is for trying to communicate? Teaching them how to interact with human. Exactly. So 23 correct answer is C. C is gone. Now listen. When one question is left, it's a good idea to read the question as well. So that you know what the question is. Question number 20. Important concern for scientists is to ensure that robots do not seem frightening. Let's read the same thing on. Machines such as these. I'm reading uh, one, two, three, four, fifth last line. Chrysler said. Found it? Okay. Machines such as these take researchers into the field of socialized robotics. How to make robots act in a way that does not scare. That does not scare or offend individuals. And who said that? Chrysler. Chrysler is... C. So it means for 20 also, answer is C. Clear? Yes. All right. So inverted commas and statements are important there.